You know the crazy thing about this virus is this virus don't care about our differences. This virus could care less whether we black or white, whether we Christian, Muslim, or Hindu or atheist. This virus don't care whether we're a celebrity or whether we're a regular person, whether we're Republican or we're Democrat. This virus is attacking all of us as mankind, and it's gonna call for all of us to be united as we fight back. And I believe that as we fight back, we will bounce back because we bounce back after the Black Plague. We bounce back after slavery. We bounce back after the Great Depression. We bounce back after the Holocaust. We bounce back after school shootings. We bounce back after Hurricane Katrina. I got no doubt that we'll bounce back and we'll come back stronger, bolder, and better than we did before. I can see a day when we're walking through the malls with cheer. I can see a day when we're back in arenas filled with excitement. But until then, until then, let your homes be filled with excitement. Let your homes be filled with laughter and joy. Let your homes be filled with cheer as you hold your loved ones near. I read it, and it says that weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. So I wanna just encourage you, I know you're going through a rough patch, I know things for you right now are really rough and really challenging. I know that cloud of depression can be coming over you. Many of you have lost loved ones, family members. Many of you have lost your jobs and you're trying to figure out how are you gonna make it. I get it, but I came to tell you that we will bounce back. At nighttime it's painful, at nighttime it's rough, at nighttime it's real hard, but I promise you joy will come in the morning. And when that sun cracks the sky, things gonna be different, we gonna feel different, and we'll be stronger, we'll be more united, we'll be more loving. The connection will be stronger. So this is not the time to cower. This is not the time to run away. This is the time when we apologize. This is the time that we reconcile. This is not the time to quit on your marriage. This is not the time to throw in the towel. This is the time when you humble yourselves. This is the time when you make the adjustments. This is an opportunity for us as humans to get better, to get wiser, to get stronger and be more united. And when it's all said and done, we'll come out of this better than we went in before. And I promise you, my friends, if you just hold on, we will be all right because our condition will not be our conclusion.